Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, please remember that even though I did work as a master technician for a dealership for 17 years, I'm currently not in any way affiliated with any automotive manufacturer. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and any and all trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove the second row seats out of this uh, 2023 Toyota Sienna. Let's start by removing the headrest. It will make the seat a little more compact and easier to remove. So lift it up and then it's got the little tab right here on the side, squeeze it and then you can take the headrest out. Slide the seat all the way forward for access and then uh, use a trim tool or a small uh, flat blade screwdriver and pop these two covers off. Now locate and remove the two 17 millimeter head bolts located behind the covers. Now slide the seat back and then remove this cover using a trim tool. There are two clips on each corner here and there, and then there are three clips along the top row. So that's the clips right there. Whenever working with the airbag system, uh, it's always a good safety precaution to disconnect the battery to be on the safe side. So uh, go ahead and disconnect the negative battery terminal. You can check my video uh, on the 12 volt battery removal uh, for the CN on my channel. It describes where the battery is and then how to initialize the doors and uh, hatch after you uh, reconnect it. So check that video out. So uh, let's go ahead and disconnect it and then we can proceed with uh, disconnecting the connectors. Let's disconnect this uh, connector first. So to disconnect it, first you're gonna have to squeeze this white tab right here and slide the housing backwards like this. And now you squeeze the tab again and now you can uh, take the connector off. Now to disconnect this one, just a regular connector. So squeeze the tab and pull. And then for this last airbag connector, you just have to pull on this little white tab right here on the side, and it's gonna come off. Now let's disconnect this uh, wire harness clip. So just use your uh, clip removal tool, get behind there. on the back so that they hold the wiring harness properly when you install it make sure they're not damaged now remove the two 17 millimeter head bolts now you can slide the seat forward and take it out of the vehicle uh, take care not to damage anything in the door opening here. And you can move these uh, seed carriages out of the way by pressing down on this uh, lever right here. And that disengages the lock and you can slide them back. Let's say if you're going to be sleeping here or whatever, freeze up some space for you. Now, if you just leave these connectors unplugged and you go uh, start the vehicle, you're going to have an airbag warning light come on. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, you need to get some 2.2 ohm resistors and you can just check the link below the video. I've got links to the resistors and the tools needed to do this job. And then uh, we're going to plug them into these connectors and that will trick the SRS ECU into thinking that the airbags and the seatbelt pretension are still connected. All right. 
right just like that This one's done also. Now, if you're gonna drive, um, you know, tape them um, in place so they don't fall out and uh, maybe slide this rail all the way forward and uh, get the harness under the front seat so you don't kick these resistors out. And uh, then you can turn the ignition on and make sure that the uh, airbag light is not coming on and staying on. So uh, reconnect the battery and initialize the doors and the hatch as shown in a battery replacement video. And then uh, and start the vehicle up and uh, see what happens. So our airbag light is on for the bulb check. And then now it goes out. So it's very, very happy. You can go ahead and drive it like this and it doesn't even know that the seat is not there. Once you're finished with your adventures and you want to put the seats back, uh, remove the resistors from the airbag connectors. And uh, if you want to be on the safe side, uh, disconnect the battery negative terminal when doing this. So now we can just uh, get our tape off and get the resistors out. And after that, we'll be able to uh, reconnect everything. Now move these uh, seat carriages until they uh, are parallel with each other. So they're on the same level. Now go ahead and uh, reinstall the seat. Be careful not to hit the body with it. And then line it up on the track carriage. Now the seat's in place, you can slide it back for better access to the wiring. And here just plug this harness in and uh, plug the connectors for the airbags in and the seat belt pretensioners until they click. So that's one and that's two. Now grab your bolts and uh, you have two long ones and two short ones. Reinstall the short ones here in the front. Uh, don't uh, tighten them yet, just thread them in. We just want to make sure that the rear lines up also because if you go and uh, start tightening them up, um, the rear bolts may not go in. So once these are threaded by hand, we can go to the back and install those ones. Now uh, reinstall the two long bolts. Start them by hand and make sure they engage first with the threads. And then uh, once they do, you can go ahead and snug them up with an impact gun. And uh, torque to 48 foot pounds. And now you can reinstall these covers, put them in. I'll do the same on the front. Forty-eight foot pounds as well. And now reinstall the cover. You've got uh, these seven hooks that go all around and clip in make sure it sits nice and flush and lastly reinstall the headrest and there you go second row seat removal and installation is completed thanks for watching Please subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Sienna maintenance and repair videos. See you next time. Cheers.